Applied anthropology is a type of anthropological research, but it looks for answers to specific problems, which means that rather than just research for research sake, research for something you want to know about because it interests you, and on which you will write a thesis that you and your supervisors will read, you're going to do research for an organization or uh, an entity that has a specific question that they want an answer to. And they want that answer given by someone who can do applied anthropological research, who can use anthropological methods to find out what the answer to that question is. So basically the main difference is that you are doing research in a larger context with other people, with an organization, who really want to know what it is that you as an anthropologist using your methods can do to give them more insight into that problem. Well, strictly speaking, there's not that much difference between applied anthropology and general anthropology. It's anthropology all the time. The main difference, probably, in the way in which we're teaching it and in the way in which uh, we use it in the uh, masters is in that in general anthropology, when it comes to your research project, uh, you are the one who decides what it's going to be about and you only need to explain it and uh, discuss it with your academic supervisors. In the applied track, however, uh, you do your research for an organization or uh, for some other outside group of people who want to do something with the answer that you're going to provide. So you're part of a larger team, a larger project, if you like. And that means that you're not only going to need to explain what it is that you're doing to your academic supervisors, but also to these outside people who generally don't know what anthropology is, so you have to explain them what the practical usage of your findings for them will be. So in that sense, there's a clear difference. It's not just anthropology. It is as academic as general anthropology is, but it also has this practical side to it, which means that you're using anthropology outside of the university. Yes, I have, and I'm yeah, doing it right now as well. Um, over the years, I've been working in various applied projects. Most of these have been for Dutch government in one form or another. Uh, for instance, a while ago, we carried out a research project on the need to have uh, specialized courts of law in the Netherlands. And that means that as an anthropologist, you need to go and interview judges and um, uh, lawyers to find out whether they find that there should be a specialized court for specific subjects or not, and if so, why that would be the case. And that means that if you're doing that, you yeah, enter a completely different world from the university and from uh, anthropology, of course, because yeah, these people have different ways of interacting with each other, they have a different culture among themselves, if you like. And it means that you go there as an anthropologist and you need to fit yourself uh, in there in order to get a grasp of the situation and in order to get the answers that you like. Presently, I'm doing research into the issue of overlapping land claims in Indonesia in the tropical rainforest area. And we're trying to find out, this is an international project, how we can help local government with uh, settling these so it's a completely different issue. Either you work in Dutch courts of law or you work in the tropics of Indonesian uh, rainforests. But in both cases, you need as an anthropologist to get into the situation, fit yourself in, do your research, and then go back and help another entity, government in both cases, to make sense of what it is that you find out and how they can apply it. Yes, I definitely do. Um, I think there are three things which I should point out. The first is, uh, don't think that this is a type of research that is easier than a general anthropology master. I think, in fact, it's probably more difficult because you are kind of working to satisfy two sets of, of supervisors, your academic supervisors and the people out of the project, the external party that you're working with. Um, the good thing about that, that is related to this is that you are learning how to deal with various parties who have various interests and that you uh, learn how to mediate these two and bring it together 
in uh, the research that you're doing. Second uh, advice related to that, uh, don't be scared by that. Um, as soon as you leave the university and you go and work somewhere, chances are that you will be working with various parties with various interests. So in that sense, this is a way of learning and applying anthropology that will help you in getting a feel of um, how that actually works. And related to that, perhaps obvious, uh, third type of advice, um, once you leave the university, you step out there, you say, hey, I'm an anthropologist. A lot of people will say, oh, an anthropologist, what do you do? What can you do? And if you have experience in applying your anthropological research and your anthropological training, you can answer that question. You can tell them like, well, let me tell you why an anthropologist is useful for the type of job that you are advertising. And you can go on from there. <laughs>